What's up everybody? We have a total hip circuit here. We're gonna start out uh, stretching the outside of the leg, so glute knee, glute minimus, uh, so as well as some other muscles. Then we'll follow it with stretching the front of the leg, so hip flexor area, uh, very common area to be tight in if you're seating, seat, oh wow, seated a lot, sitting a lot, whenever you're working, if we're working from home or even at a job. Uh, all of us tend to sit a lot, we sit in our cars, so this is a great one for the front of our legs, which tend to get tight from prolonged sitting. And then finally, we're gonna end it with shin box stretch. This is gonna be, again, stretching the outside of our legs, a little bit more dynamic to end it with. So we have this two rounds. The first one's gonna be six breaths, each supine pretzel position, half kneeling quad hip flexor stretch with lateral overhead reach, and I'll show all these. That's gonna be six breath each as well. And then finally, shin box stretch is gonna be three breaths each reach, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So, six, six, three of the reps. First exercise is gonna be supine pretzel. So easiest way to get into this is start in a seated position. Both legs come out, one foot goes on one knee. I'm gonna bring it to a seated pretzel first before we go supine. So if you wanna stay here, that's fine by me. If you already feel the stretch a lot, or if this is, you know, this is where you, you wanna be, this is where you need to be, this is the same exact muscle that you're stretching in the supine version. Supine version, you're gonna be lying back. Now we can take it up a notch by, again, pressing into the knee. If this is comfortable for you, then you stay here. Or we can cross the hands be in front of this leg. So I'm gonna cross my hands right where my uh, kneecap is or right below it. Just do whatever's comfortable as long as you don't feel any uncomfortableness. And now you're just gonna lean back, go ahead and relax your neck on the ground and you're really pulling this knee towards you to whatever is comfortable. I always like to say, actually a client of mine told me this, I really like this. He, uh, he has his own yoga teacher as well on top of training with me. And she told him, it's, you always wanna push just to the edge. You don't wanna push past it or, or you know, yank your knee towards you. Just push right to the edge and breathe. So I'm really feeling the stretch on that side that the, the foot is up. So I'm feeling it in the right side of my glute. Same thing on the left side of my glute. Again, stretching right here. So we have six breaths there. The next one, we're gonna get to a half kneeling position. And we're gonna go lateral overhead reach. So again, taking it in that lateral direction. One foot goes up. What I'm doing with this bottom knee, I'm tucking this back toe in. I almost, I don't wanna drive to the ground, but I wanna tilt my hips forward, so how do I do that? Imagine I have a big belt buckle and I'm hiding it right now. Well, what I wanna do, I wanna shine it off, so I'm almost bringing my belt buckle forward, squeezing this glute on the bottom knee. Now, I'm gonna lift up the bottom side arm, so my left arm in this case, I'm gonna reach across laterally, so I'm bending towards the camera, towards the right, and now I'm really feeling the stretch, not only in my hip flexor, but the left side of my body, so right side, Bill buckle forward, right arm up, really reaching towards the right. My bill buckle stays forward. Again, breathing in deep through the nose, out through the mouth for six breaths each side. So we got this, we got the front now, we got the side, then we're gonna go back to the side but more dynamic. So I'll show it from the front view. I'm gonna get in what's called a shin box stretch. So one foot out in front one foot back behind you. I've also heard this been called a lightning bolt. Kind of looks like a jagged lightning bolt, the Harry Potter. You can call it whatever you want. So I call it shin box, so I'm almost making a square with my front foot as my back leg is behind me at 90 degrees. So we're gonna get three reaches. One that goes inside, one that goes forward, one that goes outside. And we're breathing uh, one time in each, three times total. So this is what it'll look like. Inhale, tall spine. You always wanna have a tall spine rather than crumpled over. Exhale, reach inside, inhale, exhale, reach forward. So for me, the stretch increases as I go in. You're stretching out the outside, the bottom of this leg right here. This is the deep part for me. And that will be one. So I go again, inside, middle, or uh, outside, depending on how you look at it. And we're doing that three times each leg. So we started with the outside, Got the front, and then we go back to the outside for a dynamic. We have this two times through, y'all. Hope you enjoy it. 
Make sure you're breathing well. Make sure you're drinking some water as you do this, helping us allow uh, more mobility in our hips so we can move better and longer. Peace.